Scooter and the Sampler, and you've got a diva. Oh yeah, please welcome Ultra Nasty. Her biggest selling single, Fun, spent 17 weeks in the charts, and it sold over 1 million copies worldwide. Ultra Nasty wrote a song for the blockbuster movie Charlie's Angels. The dazzling diva of dance music became one of the most flamboyant and talented house music stars of the 90s. But hold on, Ultra Nasty? Surely that sounds like a toothpaste. It's got to be a showbiz name. My mother gave it to me. She just wanted to find something very different. It was different. House music wasn't where Ultra first saw herself. She had other ideas. I was planning on becoming a doctor, actually. <laughs> but medicine's loss was music's gain. Ultra released her most famous track, The Uplifting Free, and when it hit the charts, she made it on a global scale. And like so many feisty females, Ultra was given the tag of diva. What does the word diva mean to you? The good side of it is that you are respected, that you're an independent and strong person. Suddenly, everyone wanted to work with her. Ultra Nate! Lenny Kravitz rocked his guitar to her amazing voice in the track Free Con, and she recorded a duet with her childhood hero, Boy George. And tonight, our Ultra Diva is free to do what she wants to do because she's back. Hitting us one more time with free, she's live. She is Ultra Nazi! Had a duet from one person. Uh, when's the baby due? September 2nd. We wish you all the very best of luck. Do you know what it is? It's a boy. I knew it. I knew it was going to be a boy. Uh, how was that for you, that performance? It was wonderful. We loved it, taking us back. I, I can't remember, I actually can't remember the last time I heard that track. That's because I was having such a good time. Uh, what cover version are you going to do later on? I'm doing Rachel Stevens, Some Girls. Hey, we look forward to that. Once again, in the house, Ultra Nazi!